Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can run the check disk command to check our hard drives for errors in Windows 10. Check disk can help fix hard drive errors caused by bad sectors, improper or sudden shutdowns, corrupted software, and metadata corruption. Whenever you have hard drive errors like you need to format the partition before you can use it caused by improper shutdown of the machine or abnormal removal of a USB drive, you can use Check Disk to find the errors and fix them. In this short presentation, I'm going to show you a number of ways that you can get access to Check Disk for your hard drive. And we're going to begin this presentation by going to File Explorer, and I'm going to click on this PC. I'm going to find the hard drive that I want to check for errors, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select Properties from the Context menu. From here, I'm going to click on the Tools tab, and from here, I can do an error check and check the hard drive by just selecting the option to check, and that runs the check. We haven't found any errors on this drive. You can still scan the disk for errors if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just say Cancel that. So that's one way you can get to check disk. Now, another way is you can go into Disk Management. So again, I'm going to hold down the Windows key, and I'm going to press X. From the context menu here, I'm going to select Disk Management. Inside of Disk Management, I can right click on the drive that I want to select for checking, and I can go to Properties. And again, using the Tools menu, I can check that hard drive for any errors. The best method for checking your hard drives using Check Disk for errors is to use the command prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my search bar here. I'm going to type in CMD. And from the options, I'm going to go ahead and right click and select Run as Administrator. Now there's a couple of different options that you can run Check Disk from the command prompt. Now if I type in the abbreviation for Check Disk and I give it a space, I can now designate a drive letter or I can leave it blank and Check Disk will look at all of the hard drives that I currently have on this machine. So let's see what happens if I give it a space and I type in a forward slash and I type in the letter F for fix. Now, the first drive that it's going to look at is going to be the system drive, but because this drive is online and in use, we cannot conduct a check disk until we reboot the machine and take the hard drive offline. All right, so now I can either designate yes or no. I'll go ahead and say no. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the check disk again, but this time I'm going to designate a drive letter. So I'll use the drive letter E, give it a forward slash and the letter F, and we're going to just check the drive letter E for any errors. Now since this hard drive is not in use, it comes back and it tells me that it has checked the hard drive and did not find any issues. Now you can also run check disk using the repair function of the Windows operating system. So if you do run the repair option using the install media for the operating system, you can also bring up a command prompt and you can run check disk from there. And that does sometimes fix the issues of the hard drive being too corrupted that we can't boot up. And so that's going to conclude our short video presentation on how we go about using Check Disk to check our hard drives for errors. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, please don't hesitate. Reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.